Hey, yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Hey, yo, what's up? Guys, my beautiful girlfriend. Look at her TSX right there. That shit is clean. She got the Fadulo off eBay. Nah, it's that's a real Medulo. Today is a really good day because we're gonna go pick up my spoon bumper and I've been waiting four weeks for this shit. So today we're finally getting that shit and I'm so excited. But I need to update you guys on something. First off, my side skirt is off. Um, I was eating at Bad Burrito with Damien and I hit a curb and I lost the side skirt. But it's whatever, I got some A-spec side skirts coming in. Yeah, this side's on at least. And also, my hood latch is broken. So I have to open it with a zip tie. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do it. Someone's gonna try to break into my car, but yeah. That's, that's what's been going on with the car. Been having a lot of issues. And a fucking wheel stud broke. That shit was so scary. Also, I'd like to thank you guys for 7K subscribers. But we're gonna set up a little time lapse because I have a brand new tripod I wanna try out and we're gonna take this bumper off. Yeah, look how jank this shit is. This is how on my zip ties. This side too. Wait, it's so dark. One zip tie. You can't even... Hey, Brandon. You're ugly. <laughs> you guys want to buy a grill? <laughs> 250, all right, let me know. Hey, did you not hear anything that I oh, said? Oh, bro? Did you not hear anything that I said? I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god, be careful. Alright, there we go. The bumper is off. I left the bash bar there and I'll take it off at the shop. I'm waiting for the guy to text me to come through, but I think it's gonna be for a while that he'll text me, so I'll just let the car sit and I'll get back to you guys when we're on the way there. It's about freaking time I get the shit painted. I was gonna paint it myself, but I'd rather take it to the professional. But yeah, we just gotta take off this support bar right here and then we can get this thing on. And he's got the uh, 12 millimeter. Yeah, that's it right there. Alright, man. Um, yeah, if it gets to chip heavily or anything, I think I'll fake it. Man, I'm, I'm not ready for this, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm not ready for this. Oh, shit, yo. The difference from being white right <laughs> yeah, it looks way better, man. Wait. All right, sorry for the awkward transition, but I am with the boys right now. We got Omar and Damien. Say what's up, y'all. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> so here's the bumper. I wanted to bring it out to the spot because the lighting's really nice out here, and it looks really, really good. He did a good job. Delira did a good job on the bumper. There's some little imperfections here, like some of the primers still showing, and I think over here, uh, it's a little rough, but that's okay. It's a $300 paint job, and I don't really expect it to be the best. <laughs> Check out the missing side skirt too, I, I fucking hate this shit. And fitment, still kinda ass, but it fits way better than the stock bumper I had. And I need to reseal this too. Check out Damien's camera. This thing looks expensive. This camera costs more than everything I've ever bought in this car. Damn, babe, I see you. Oh shit, Ripperoni. Oh, and I didn't update you guys on Omar's build. So he got brand new wheels. What wheels are these? These are Avid AB26s. By nine and a half yes sir rep wheel gang <laughs> hey but i don't have rep tires yeah no he got tires. some michelin pilot sports yeah pilot sport 4 s's yeah that's a w bro and they grip they got that gorilla grip they got grip <laughs> let's see what this boy's up to look at that oh shit that fogged the hell out of my camera look at this camera though that shit is crazy what are you doing I have a wire that's sticking out from Oh, I thought it was a zip tie. What the fuck it was? <laughs> Here, bro. Alright, so this car has a really cool feature. It can turn black. So look, it's gray. And yeah. we go over here. Right now I have it set to full stiff. Then we got a black TSX. Hold on. There we go, black TSX right there. What did I tell you guys? 
Well, there isn't really much to film right now, so I'll just get back to you guys when it's time to work on the TSX. What's good, everybody? I just got off work and got a fresh cut. This shit's clean. But besides all that, I just wanted to show you what I got. I got a jet black black box finish kit and also some touch of paint. Because if we come up here, there is a bunch of uh, rock chips in here. You can't really tell on the camera. But yeah, we're gonna fix that. And also got a rock chip right there, unfortunately. Oh man, I should've charged the camera yesterday. It's almost dead. Check out the polisher, guys. It's a Torx polisher. And it's been used by my boy Ethan. But I had this for like three years. And now we're finally gonna use it. I got some pads over here. I'm not sure what to use, but we'll figure it out. But yeah, let me get the car cleaned up a little bit and charge the camera and I'll be back. All right guys, so we're about to get started on this project. So I have my white buffing pad right here. The reason why this is black is because this pre-cleaner is actually black as well. So yeah, it's stained this shit. And we're gonna clean this with the free wax cleaner. And then we're gonna be able to move over to the wax which will bring back the shine and make it less hazy. So let's get rid of these swirls. So I just take this and then I do like a little bit of dots. Oh shit, that's a lot. Okay, yeah, that's that's way too much. Um, that's probably enough to do the whole car. So we're just gonna spread this baby evenly. Like so. All right, that's pretty good right there. So we're gonna start right here. But let me move you guys out the way. The reason why I kept this at one is because we're pretty much going to be spreading the product and that's what I did. You want to spread the whole door and then on the second pass, I'm going to go at two and go dummy on this shit. But you know, if you're watching this as advice on like how to do this, don't follow this video. I really don't know what I'm doing. All right guys, so we're about to do the wax right now. And this is the step two. I just wiped off everything and buffed the fenders real quick and it's looking really good. So let's go ahead and get this spread it on. So I'm just gonna let this haze up for a little bit, maybe five more minutes, and then I'm gonna buff it all off, and I'll show you guys how the hood looks. And I need to do Defender 2 because I just put the compound whatever on. But yeah, it's looking really good, guys. I'm excited about this. Here's a before. And after. Check out that shine guys, this looks so good. I still have a little bit more buffing to do because there's still shit on the paint. But yeah, it's looking really good. So right now I'm about to go ahead and start working on the trunk. I just cleaned it and as you can see, it's not in the best shape ever. I don't know if you guys can see all the scratches. There we go. Yeah, look at all the scratches and shit on the trunk. This is the worst part of the car, the trunk. Everything else is alright. Yeah, let's get started on this. Here is the before. There's not really much of a difference. But when you come over here, you can still see all of the swirls and shit. And now my trunk has some holographic swirls on it, but that's, it's whatever. But it looks good from far away though. You guys see a difference? Let me know. All right, now that we're done with all the paint correction on the TSX, actually the hood looks really good. I think that worked for the hood well. But we're gonna go ahead and use, we're gonna go ahead and use this dupli color paint pen. And it is a Nighthawk Black Pearl, which is the color for the TSX. Yeah, you guys see that? It's like chipping right here. It's really bad right here too, so I'm gonna fill this up and hopefully the car will look better. But now that you guys have seen those imperfections, I'm gonna go point out every single one of them. Here's one big obvious one. My quarter panels are cracked. Well, the paint is. So I don't know if I should keep the vinyl on here or try to fix it. I got a fat ass scratch right here. One rock chip on the spoon, RIP. We got some metal showing through. This has to be the worst part of the car, this mirror. 
Okay, we're gonna do a quick review on this pen. So you just take this little top off. Pretty much what I'm gonna do with this is just, you know, rub this down with that, I guess. And then, oh yeah, check this out too. So you can turn it in into a pen tip or a brush, which is really cool. So I'm gonna try that out on the quarter panel. And then over here is the clear coat. But yeah, I'm super excited to get this done. I've been wanting to do this for the longest time ever. So we're finally gonna get to do that. Just in case you guys are curious, Here's the clear coat. Oh shit, whoops, <laughs> I gotta open it this way. Okay, open it this way, okay. There we go, it has a little foam brush on there. But we're gonna do that after we apply all the paint all around. Now that looks good, we're gonna read this together. So prep it, and now we're gonna paint it. So now that we are done with this, we can go ahead and start painting. So I'm gonna twist this top off. Oh, you just pulled it off. And then you should be able to get started painting. Sucks ass, so I'm just gonna fly it like this. One long stroke like that, boys. You know, maybe it's a good idea to actually clean this before you put the paint on, but it's whatever. Check it out, guys. It's not the best fix, but from far away, go focus. It's not the best fix, but from far away, it looks really good. This almost looks too good. So yeah, I'm gonna let that dry out. Uh, there's still some spots showing, so I'm gonna touch it off off camera. But I think we should work on this quarter panel. I don't really like all this vinyl wrap shit going on, so we're gonna fix that. Oh. All right, as you can see, we got everything prepped and cleaned, and yeah, so let's get started. I'm just gonna start using that little abrasive thingy. I'm gonna cover this up like that. Yeah, check that out. That's that Rashi auto body right there. And then there's the rest of the damage. Oh my God, that looks so bad. Check it out, we just got done, or I just got done, doing all of this shit, and it was pretty tough. Uh, one thing I would recommend would to be very careful with this, but this is something that is okay for me to look at instead of having all that vinyl wrap on top. So I'm happy with this. Let's get started on the other side. Here's the other side. We have some damage right here and right here. It's not as bad as the other side, but let's go ahead and get this fixed. Damn, this shit looks so good, guys. Well, on camera, you can't even tell that there is some damage to the fender. But I just waited 30 minutes and did a couple things off camera. Now we're ready to start with the clear coat. I'm not gonna show this step because it's literally just like painting, but you know, it's just clear coat. So I did it off camera and I'm gonna pull the car out and we're gonna check out the paint. Check out this shine. This is like a mirror finish right here. Oh, let me show you guys the mirrors. Remember, there's like a bunch of rock chips on this shit. And now, I mean, you can still see them, but far away, this shit's perfect. Same for the hood, too. Oh, I'm just in love with this car again. I promise, no more automatic car washes. I'll take care of this thing. Let me know what you guys think about the spoon bumper. Do you guys like this or the Medulo? Let's check on the worst part of the car, which is this rear quarter panel. And from far away, it looks really good. Made sure to get the clear coat on. And also, just messing with the door a little bit and messed up with the clear coat. But that's okay. That's better looking than what it was before. But anyways guys, I'm gonna end the video off here. We did a lot of work to the TSXE and the build is coming along very, very nice. I just need to install the splitter and get my new side skirts and wheels. Yes, I did get new wheels. I'm gonna post them up right here. Got some Kansai Roku's and they're still on back order for a month. So it's gonna be a while till we get a brand new setup on this. I went with 18 by nine and a half plus 22 and we're gonna do two 2540s Neo Neil Gens. I'm gonna end the video off here. I appreciate you guys so much for watching the videos and interacting by commenting and leaving likes. So keep on doing that and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. I'm